10 Strangest New Drones in 2023. Every day, we see life-changing technologies that would leave your mouth open, from flying drones to remotely controlled helicopters. Innovations are changing the world, and we simply cannot help but know how and what they do. So, to fulfill that urge, we've compiled a list of 10 scary new drones that will blow your mind. Have a look at them. Number 10. Anvil the Anvil drone is meant to attack attackers from below with a battery and motor for short, quick flights. It's also built to withstand, hit, and survive. The rotors are on the bottom, and other flight-critical components are as low as possible. Even if some of the more delicate equipment is destroyed, the Anvil should land intact. None of this will allay fears about Andoril's border project, which many regarded as a nightmare of Trump-era automated monitoring. However, Anvil is intended for military usage rather than border agencies, and it's unclear if it would be useful at the border. Based on the vertical angle of attack, critical to the drone's design, it's also difficult to envision the device being particularly successful against a human. The main problem is that Anvil will absorb too much damage with each contact, making it too costly to use as a long-term countermeasure. Number 9. Switchblade The Switchblade Elite is ideal for managing frequent flights in harsh environments. When designing the Switchblade Elite, we took an impartial look at what makes a great drone. In a market crowded with quadcopters, we discovered that a design resembling a classic aircraft was easier to fly. The forward direction is obvious, even at vast distances, and controls are more intuitive. Furthermore, three rotors enable bigger props, resulting in more efficient operation and longer flying periods. The Switchblade Elite may be utilized for various applications because of its compact size, mobility, extended flight periods, and flexible payloads. From surveying and mapping to inspection and aerial photography, this UAV is ideal for forestry, construction, energy, mining, agriculture, and other industries. Furthermore, it may be tailored to a variety of particular applications. Number 8. Ethan Krauss Lifter This is a complete ion-powered aircraft. An ion-propelled aircraft is an aircraft that uses electrohydrodynamics, or EHD, to provide lift or thrust in the air without requiring combustion or moving parts. It comes with a collector assembly, an emitter assembly, and a control circuit, as well as a power supply designed to deliver voltage to the emitter and collection assemblies. The aircraft is a notable invention that if perfected, will change drone technology forever. The equipment is designed so that when the voltage from an onboard power source is applied, the aircraft delivers enough force to raise each collector assembly, emitter assembly, and full power supply against gravity. Number 7. AB6 Jet Quad The AB6 Jet Quad is a small jet engine drone the size of a big suitcase with a combined power of 700N from four microturbine jet engines. The Jet Quad is ready to fly right out of the box, requires no assembly, and has a 1.2 meter by 0.9 meter landing footprint. The Jet Quad has no external airfoils and will fly in congested areas and bad weather. The AB6 Jet Quad can take off vertically, hover precisely in one spot, and flawlessly convert to high-speed horizontal flight. Fusion Flight's in-house Thrust Vectoring System, or TVS, provides the drone with these great characteristics. A sophisticated collection of control algorithms enables JetQuad to undertake agile turns and fly independently over pre-programmed waypoints. Number 6. VBAT-128 The VBAT-128 Crewless Aircraft System, or UAS, is an improved version of the VBAT VTOL UAS produced by Martin UAV, a US-based advanced aviation technology firm. The new aircraft has a greater payload capacity and endurance than its predecessor, 
the crewless aircraft was exhibited to the Army Expeditionary Warrior Experiment, or AEWE, at Fort Benning in Georgia, U.S. in February 2021. AWE evaluates various innovative technologies for the United States Army's modernization programs, including the Army's six modernization goals. The VBAT-128 VTOL drone may be used for search and rescue, or SAR, border security, quick tactical deployment, firefighting and disaster management, transportation, logistic resupply, infrastructure protection and security, and energy and oil and gas activities, among other things. The VBAT-128 crewless aircraft has VTOL capabilities and a tiny footprint, making it simple to launch, transport, and operate. The drone is 2.74 meters in length and has a wingspan of 2.9 meters. Its total weight, including fuel and cargo, is 56.6 kilograms. Number 5. Leonardo Crewless Aerial Vehicles, or UAVs, for air, land, and sea applications in both the civil and military sectors, employed in intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance, or I-STAR operations, and threat simulation training. Platforms, radar and electro-optical sensors, mission systems, and ground control stations are integrated into modular, versatile solutions. Technologies for properly managing crewless traffic and defending airports and vital infrastructure from hostile or unintentional invasions of remotely piloted aircraft systems. Leonardo works with prominent worldwide programs in this field, such as Eurodrone and Skydweller, and provides patrol assistance to numerous government missions, including MONUSCO and Frontex. Number 4. Spirit This cylinder drone, dubbed Spirit, has been in the works for over five years. Dynetics, situated in Huntsville, Alabama, was the drone's first significant client. This drone proved to be a valuable instrument for critical military, intelligence, or public safety activities, particularly those involving difficult flight paths. According to Ascent Aerosystems specs, the drone is small enough to fit into a backpack, it can fly for more than 50 minutes alone on the power of two batteries. The drone's distinctive shape and construction pave the way for various novel functions that conventional and aerial vehicles cannot provide. It offers a one-of-a-kind platform for various combinations of vertical takeoff and landing. The Spirit's modular architecture also increases our capacity to incorporate new technologies so we can swiftly build new payloads and showcase new capabilities to our customers in the defense and intelligence domains," says Steve Norris, Dynetics Department Manager for Unmanned Systems. The drone's stability and mobility have already been evaluated, showing tremendous potential for future systems. It can do operations that most other bulky and heavy drones cannot. Number 3. Cyclocar VTOL the 60kg Cyclocar VTOL vehicle, which uses a super-responsive cycle propeller propulsion system, was built by Russia's Foundation for Advanced Research and has recently been sighted flying about. The Cyclocar, developed as part of the Cyclone project, will debut next year with a purely electric powertrain, with rumors of a hybrid variation in the works. The full-size version will be 6.2 meters long, with a peak speed of 250 kilometers per hour and a range of 500 kilometers. The precise generating engine is unknown. However, it is expected to be Russian-made using either a rotary piston or a turboshaft engine. In either a piloted, autonomous, or remote-controlled form, the propulsion barrels will be 1.5 meters, or 5 feet, in diameter and capable of carrying up to 6 passengers, or 600 kilograms. That's 1,323 pounds of cargo. Furthermore, the VTOL aircraft will dock on vertical surfaces and land on a 30-degree inclined surface. Occupants may enter and exit the cabin from both the stern and the sides, and the back entry ramp is useful for transporting gear or special equipment in and out. Number 2. The Dragon 
The Dragon Drone is a technical wonder driven by ducted fans, and its unique selling point is its transformational capability. This drone's connected modular architecture allows it to convert into several patterns, including a line, snake, L, and even more complicated shapes like zigzag and spiral. The modules are joined together by hinged joints and include built-in fan thrusters. This original prototype consists of four connected modules and has a flying duration of three minutes. Plans are in the works to develop a longer drone with 12 connected modules in the future. The Dragon may eventually utilize both ends to grab and lift objects. This drone has various potential in crucial applications since it's transformational and can fly on a predefined course. Number 1. Weird Smellicopter The Smellicopter is an autonomous drone built by a team led by the University of Washington that utilizes a live antenna from a moth to navigate towards aromas. As it moves through the air, Smellicopter can detect and avoid obstructions. The findings were published in the journal IOP Bioinspiration and Biomimetics on October 1st. Nature completely outperforms our man-made odor sensors, said lead author Melanie Anderson, a UW PhD student in mechanical engineering. We're able to obtain the best of both worlds by employing a real moth antenna with Smellicopter. The sensitivity of the biological organism on a robotic platform where we can regulate its mobility. Cells in a moth antenna magnify chemical signals, explained co-author Thomas Daniel, a UW biology professor who also co-supervises Anderson's PhD study. The moths accomplish it efficiently. One fragrance molecule may activate several physiological reactions, and that's the key. This procedure is extremely efficient, precise, and quick. The helicopter was built using antenna from the Manduka Sexta hawk moth. Before removing an antenna, researchers placed moths in the refrigerator to anesthetize them. The antenna remains physiologically and chemically active for up to four hours after being detached from the living moth. We are taking your love for drone inventions to the next level. So subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the wonderful content we have in store.